It's the end of the world with Woody Thompson. It's the end of the world with Woody Thompson. Intro song. And then the show will start with all the graphics and everything. Super volcano. Zombie invasion. Asteroids headed this way. Nuclear fallout. And you thought you'd die in your sleep. Hey, and welcome to the end of the world with me, Woody Thompson, your host. Only show count down the last days to the end of the earth, which could be right now. How cool would that have been? The world actually ended right then when I said that? Right now. I probably would have sucked a lot, actually. Got a lot of stuff to do still. All right, let's get to our question of the day, which comes from subscriber Interscope8, who asks how to avoid radiation. I'm assuming you mean how do you avoid radiation after a nuclear apocalypse? Well, there's a few different things you can do, and I'm going to explain them to you. But first, to the surface! Doomsday, you've just survived a nuclear blast to now find yourself at the mercy of the radioactive waves emanating from the explosion. Time is of the utmost importance now, and your biggest challenge will be surviving radiation. I thought we were going to CGI something. This is awesome. First things first, don't look directly at the light from the blast, even though I've always wanted to see one and it would make an awesome profile pic. It could blind you, and believe me, you're gonna definitely need your vision for these next few steps. Dude? <sighs> now, if you're within 10 miles of the edge of that blast, don't bother looking for a place to hide. Run. You've got about 10 minutes to put a mile between you and the edge of that mushroom cloud. You're gonna have to do better than that. Right now you're a crispy chicken sandwich. Now that you're on the move, you're going to want to keep your skin as covered as possible. And don't touch anything. It can be radioactive or covered in radioactive matter. So no touching. How are you doing? You know, ladies, another safe place to be is deep inside a uh, radiation-proof bunker. Maybe with a handsome survivor. I don't know. Repopulating the Earth? Or just being friends? But if you can't, then a parking garage is your next best option. They're large, underground, and made of steel-reinforced concrete. Radiation's worst nightmare. Or am I thinking of lead? Now eventually you're going to want to get yourself to a decontamination center. Get yourself cleaned up. Of course there's a good chance that the guy with the key to said decontamination center just got blown to bits in the blast. In which case, you're going to want to decontaminate yourself. Not as gross as it sounds. Ah! Now that you stripped off all those contaminated clothes, hop in the shower. Rinse off all those extra protons and neutrons. Prepare for the exciting life of three-eyed cats and glow-in-the-dark toenails. Oh, Ooh, excuse Where's me, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank I didn't okay. even see you there. Cool. All right, thank How's you. Okay. okay, take it up a little self in the cloud. Hold on. You're all good. All right, take it easy. Well, I'm Woody Thompson. It's been the end of the world. Hope you learned something. I know I sure did. All right, I'll catch you next time. Unless, of course, you know, the world ends. He took my towel. Is it racist to call him a dirty towel thief? <laughs> <laughs>